Hey, what's happening guys? Today I've got a really quick classic circuit you should know. I call this the simplest touch switch that you can make. It only uses three components. And as you can see, you touch, it turns on, and then you can also turn it off. So, how does it work? Well, it uses a MOSFET, and it takes advantage of the construction of the MOSFET. So, in this case, we're using the um, IRF, uh, was it 44... IRFZ44N, IRFZ44N, which is a really common um, an enhancement mode MOSFET. So what we're doing is we are connecting the drain of the MOSFET to VCC through a resistor, in this case, just a 220 ohm resistor. And we connect the source to the LED down here, which also goes to ground. Now, there is also a wire coming from ground. And then our gate is not connected to anything, and that's what we'll be using for the capacitive touch. So how does that work? Well, it works right here. Here's your MOSFET, you know, the interior part of your MOSFET. There's your body diode. And here is the gate, which is insulated from the drain and source. It is capacitively coupled here. I mean, if you take a look at that right there, you know, what, what, is, the, uh, what is the symbol for a capacitor? Two lines. Two plates separated by some sort of a dielectric becomes a capacitor and that is what we have here so to make it work you have to first of all not yank out your electrical contacts all you have to do is touch that contact and it will light up so what I've done is I've taken the charge out of my body and transferred it into that isolated gate of the MOSFET. And because it's isolated, that, cha that charge will remain there until there's somewhere for it to go. In which case, I can simply use my finger again to bridge these two points. And you can see the LED is out. Very simple. On and it got too far away now. Off. The simplest capacitive touch switch in existence. Now, of course, this only works for low voltage DC applications. In this case, I'm using it to uh, switch the load of, of, of an LED. And I am current limiting that LED right here, which is also kind of current limiting the MOSFET. Because, as you know, current is uh, the same throughout the circuit. So, just a little simple demonstration of a capacitive switch. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. <laughs> That's it. I'm out. Peace.